Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of our Puerto Galera adventure. We're starting off with an exciting land tour to uncover the hidden gems of this beautiful destination. From exploring charming villages to discovering cultural landmarks, get ready for a day filled with unforgettable experiences. Stay tuned as we take you along for the ride. Hey guys, good morning. And ito parin kami guys sa Batangas Port. And 1:15 yung boarding time namin. Going to Puerto Galera. Hi Nix. Hey si Nix, katim ko yun. The long wait is over. Finally, guys, boarding time na. By the way, the travel time from Batangas Port to Puerto Galera via fast craft typically takes around 1 to 1.5 hours, depending on sea conditions and the specific fast craft service you're using. Make sure, guys, to arrive at a port with ample time before your scheduled boarding to avoid any rush or delays. Most importantly guys, if you're like me who has always experienced some pagkahilo during travel, please don't forget to take your anti-motion sickness medicine or anti-hilo na mga gamot to prevent you from any symptoms of motion sickness such as nausea and dizziness. Guys, kami ay magla land tour just for this afternoon. Ganda ni Judo. Papunta na kami guys sa ating first destination which is the Tamarau Falls. It's actually the farthest among the tourist paths that we plan to go for this half day land tour and the most common mode of transportation is just through a tricycle. So from our place which is near the white beach going to Tamarau Falls, it will take approximately around 20 to 30 minutes depending on traffic and road conditions. We are at Tamarau Falls. Tamarau Falls is located in Barangay Villaflor, Puerto Galera on the island of Mindoro in the Philippines. The falls are named after the Tamarau, a critically endangered species of buffalo native to Mindoro, which is found in the area. Ano meron dyan? Ha? Ah? Ang ganda! Wow! The pool formed by the base of the falls is a popular spot for swimming and picnicking especially during hot summer days. Tamaro Falls is easily accessible from Puerto Galera town, making it a convenient destination for tourists looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the main beaches. According to local folklore, the falls are enchanted and protected by spirits, adding to its mystical charm. The area surrounding Tamarau Falls is part of the Mount Iglit Baco National Park aimed at protecting the biodiversity of the region, including the critically endangered Tamarau Buffalo. Visiting Tamarau Falls offers not only a refreshing deep in its cool waters, but also a chance to appreciate the natural beauty and biodiversity of the Philippines. <laughs> Ano Jude? Ano yari? Bigat ko silang bag ko eh. Ah, nag-ano? Jude, okay ka lang? Ay, taray. Nag-update kay Dr. Alfred. Tomorrow falls. Ito na lang tayo para mas malapit. Saka may view pa ng ano. 200. Ay, may charge? Ang bawat gamit may charge? Tapi sa, di ba may entrance na doon? Di ba po po pag si Dito? Ha, dito, hindi kami dito chase kasi ano. Para kami 200. Ang ganda o. Yan o. Punan ko muna. Kain muna kami ng lunch. Ito si po, dito muna. A 
Along the highway between Sinandigan and Sabang Beach in Puerto Galera, there are several spots where you can enjoy breathtaking views overlooking the coastline. These viewpoints offer panoramic vistas of the surrounding landscape, including the sparkling sea, lush green hillsides, and the picturesque beaches below. While driving or riding along the highway, keep an eye out for designated lookout points or areas where you can safely pull over to admire the scenery. These spots often provide opportunities for photography and relaxation as you soak in the beauty of the coastline and the natural splendor of Puerto Galera. Ito, itong dulo niya, Sinandigan siya, nasa likod, yun ang Sabang. Ah, Sabang Island ang tawa? Or hindi naman, Sabang? Barangay Sabang. Ah, Barangay Sabang. Yan po yung isa din pinupunta ng mga turista. Ah, may ano yan, parang may beachfront. Yes ma'am. Ano man siya, mga disco, madami dyan. Kaya mas madami dyan yung foreigner. Ah. Our next stop guys is Virgin Beach. It is a serene and secluded beach located in Puerto Galera, Mindoro, Philippines. It is known for its clear blue waters, soft white sand, and tranquil atmosphere, making it a popular destination for relaxation and snorkeling. At Virgin Beach, there is a statue of Mother Mary which has become a symbol of peace and spirituality for visitors and locals alike. Many people visit the statue for reflection, prayer, and to seek blessings. The presence of the Mother Mary statue adds a spiritual dimension to Virgin Beach, attracting pilgrims and tourists seeking moments of contemplation and tranquility amidst the natural beauty of the surroundings. The statue is set against the backdrop of the beach and the sea, providing a serene and picturesque setting for visitors to connect with their faith or simply enjoy the peaceful ambience. Visiting Virgin Beach and the Mother Mary statue offers not only a chance to unwind and enjoy the beauty of nature, but also an opportunity for spiritual reflection and contemplation. Oh, beautiful! Ano? <laughs> <laughs> the sound of waves crashing against the rock formations near the statue of Mother Mary at Virgin Beach in Puerto Galera is a symphony of nature's forces. The waves, influenced by the tide and the shape of the rocks, create a unique and dynamic sound that ranges from gentle lapping to powerful crashing. Staying near the statue of Mother Mary surrounded by the sound of the waves on the rocky shore provides a peaceful and contemplative experience. The soothing yet powerful sounds of the ocean serves as a reminder of nature's beauty and majesty, inspiring moments of reflection and reverence amidst the tranquil setting of Virgin Beach. The rocky shoreline amplifies the sound of the waves, adding a dramatic and mesmerizing quality to the auditory experience. As the waves interact with the rocks, they produce a rhythmic melody that resonates throughout the area, punctuated by the occasional spray of seawater and the distant calls of seabirds. Standing at the top edge of the rock formation near the statue of Mother Mary at Virgin Beach in Puerto Galera offers a stunning backdrop for a memorable selfie. The elevated position provides a panoramic view of the beach and the surrounding coastline, creating a picturesque backdrop. Always remember to exercise caution and be mindful of your surroundings when taking selfies on the rock formation, ensuring your safety while capturing the perfect shot to cherish your memories at Virgin Beach in Puerto Galera. Okay. 
We are now guys at Mie Cultural Heritage Park in Puerto Galera, who is also known for its unique attraction, a concrete sheep. The park is home to a concrete sheep which serves as a fascinating maritime relic and a testament to innovative engineering and construction methods. The concrete ship is a remnant of World War II when such vessels were constructed due to its shortage of steel. It represents a significant period in maritime history and serves as a tangible reminder of the challenges faced during wartime. The concrete ship is a striking visual attraction within the park, drawing visitors who are intrigued by its unconventional construction and historical significance. It provides an opportunity for photography and exploration. The presence of the concrete ship offers an educational opportunity for visitors to learn about the history of shipbuilding, wartime innovations, and the role of maritime transportation in the development of Puerto Galera and the Philippines. Efforts are made to preserve and maintain the concrete ship as part of the park's historical and cultural heritage. Interpretive signage and guided tours may be available to provide context and insights into its significance. Visitors to the Mie Cultural Heritage Park can explore not only the rich history and cultural heritage of Puerto Galera, but also marvel at the unique sites of a concrete ship which stands as a symbol of resilience and innovation. <laughs> Let's do you La Tortuga and San Miguel. Hey, Lodi, no. Get us at us. Wow. Wow, and then view. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good It's a Punta tayo dun sa may ano, yung parang boardwalk. Guys, nasa last stop na kami for our land tour. And this is what we call as concrete sheep. <laughs> na hindi siya nagmove. Muel. Paano ba sa akin niya, Nix? Muel. Parang. Muel. Muelie. Muelie? Spanish for the wood. Good luck, Price. Sa pasok itong legend na. Anong ibig sabihin na? The concrete sheet. Situated along Miet Bay, the park provides a stunning backdrop for watching the sunset with unobstructed views of the bay and the surrounding landscape. The park's peaceful ambience combined with the gentle lapping of the waves and the cool sea breeze creates the perfect setting for unwinding and enjoying the beauty of nature as the sun sets. The boardwalk extends out into the bay, offering an elevated vantage point of viewing the sunset. It provides ample space for strolling, taking in the sights, and capturing stunning photos of the changing colors in the sky. As you watch the sunset, You'll also have the opportunity to appreciate the historical and cultural significance of the area, adding depth to the sunset viewing experience. Unlike crowded beaches or commercialized sunset spots, the park offers a more serene and intimate setting, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the beauty of the moment as the sun dips below the horizon. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a photography enthusiast, or simply someone who appreciates the magic of a beautiful sunset, this park with its boardwalk is sure to provide a memorable and breathtaking sunset viewing experience in Puerto Galera. Alang ganda ng tubig, parang ang ano, ay, karen para sa magpiknik. Para sa magpiknik, wow! Ano Jude? Para sa nila. 
Ang ganda ng ano, yung view, yung parang pa, pa ano yung araw, yung pababa. Golden hour. The golden hour. Ano na? Kumanta. Sakay. Sakay na. Ganda mo siyang Judy. Napaka-cinematic. Ayaw, ang ganda ko na. Ay, gusto niyo mga pictures kung may sunscreen. Oo nga eh. Picture tayo. Habang may energy pa kami. Wala na. Parang kami energy. We're so tired. At meron pa kaming night life tonight. Ah, diba? Ang ganda ng ilaw, no? Kala mo. 30% na lang ang aking bottery. Welcome. Tapos nalaglag, no? OLTD for today, brandless. Katawa yung brandless. Dito tayo. Ang ganda. Walang buti mo. Kumusta naman ang inyong araw today? How would you rate your day from our earliest meet-up? Hindi ako siya nga eh. Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Ang ganda yung saan ako ano yung ano mo? Ano yung waistline mo? Jude, oh. Ang ganda ni Jude, no? Yeah. At ang ganda mo, Jude. After neto, palik tayo sa... Saan ba ito yung galing? Ay, mayroon din pala siya doon, oh. Sa kabila. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. Mayroon din pala siya doon, oh. Ito. Pumili ka na doon ng gati, Jude. Hindi pa ako nakasubok na sa kayo ng ganyan. Mahal yan, oh. Ako po. Mga yati-yati. Per hour? Yan ba yun? Gano'n ang rate? O gano'n ang rate? Depende. Depende. Nakapagyati ka. Ano masarap? Baka may mapuntahan tayo dun sa ano. Maraming yan doon. Tara na. Para makapag-freshen up tayo. Hindi naman makikita sa picture yung naglalapot. Tingnan mo. Fresh ka pa naman dito sa camera ko. Oo. Alam mo, kung gusto mo ng tipid na dito, punta lang kayo dito. Diba? Tapos parang hindi pa siya crowded or dahil weekdays lang ngayon. Baka pa dahil weekdays. Ah, pwede nga nito. Baka ang PTM. Pero wala kasi siyang food na ano, yung mga restaurant. Meron din sa gilid. Meron ba? We're going to have our dinner, guys, here at the Jam House in White Beach, Puerto Galera. It's a popular spot for live music, entertainment, and good vibes. The Jam House is known for its vibrant live music scene featuring talented local and sometimes international musicians performing a variety of genres including reggae, rap, jazz, and more. The ambience of the Jam House is relaxed and casual, perfect for chilling out with friends, enjoying drinks, and listening to great music. Whether you're a music lover looking for some live entertainment or simply seeking a laid-back hangout spot with a cool vibe, the Jam House in White Beach, Puerto Galera is definitely worth checking out. Parang sa malalang kasama kumain niya, sinasabi niya good for three lang.
coming from LA, California. Guys, good evening. Naglalakad kami dito sa my seashore. Supper to Galera. Ayan, gabing gabi na. Ita ba? Tira na agad. Buwas na umaga na lang, ganun. Bukas na lang, no? Thanks guys for joining us on our day one adventure in Puerto Galera. Don't forget to like and subscribe.